can also draw applique on your quilt block. I have created a single block and added fabric to that single block. Appliques you create are only patches of fabric and must be created in the embroidery canvas to become applique designs. They can, however, be printed in the quilter program for hand-turned applique. There are three tools for drawing applique. The rectangular applique tool, the oval applique tool, and the draw applique tool. Select the tool that you wish to use and click and drag on the screen to draw your block. If you want to draw a square, hold down the Alt key and click and drag. Release the Alt key after you release your mouse. If you wish to draw a rectangle or a square to a certain size, it's helpful to activate the grid and then you can draw your rectangle directly on the grid and then move it to your square. The oval tool creates ovals and circles. They are drawn the same way you create ovals and circles in the embroidery canvas. Two clicks and an enter for a circle and three clicks and an enter for an oval. Once created, you can move and edit these shapes. To move the shapes, click on the select tool and then just click and drag and move the shapes where you want them to be. I can resize the shapes with the corner resizing handles. They'll re be resized proportionally. With the vertical or horizontal resizing handles, they'll be changed disproportionately. If I want to rotate a shape, I click on it and click on it again, and I get rotation handles. I can also skew a shape by accessing the rotating handles and clicking either in the vertical or the horizontal and dragging the shape. Undo will revert back to the original. The corner handles will resize proportionally. The vertical and horizontal handles will resize disproportionately. I can also add fabrics to my applique. I'll select the paintbrush, click on the fabric I want in the palette, and click on the block. So I can try out different fabrics in different locations as I am planning my applique. In addition, if I want to change the relative position of a fabric, I can select a shape and I can send it to the back or send it backwards, bring it forward, or bring it to the front. So I can experiment with different positioning of my applique pieces. If I want to delete a block, I select it and press delete. 